Good morning everyone. Welcome to the morning devotion praying through the psalms. My friends, today we are praying Psalm 93. This psalm is untitled and so we do not know who wrote this psalm. And this psalm is a very short psalm with five verses. Psalm 93 celebrates God's kingship over the seas and the oceans. In the ancient myth, the oceans or the seas covered the whole world, and there was no place for humans to live. And it even the seas even roared against God, but God is powerful. So God, in His sovereignty, overpowered the oceans and set His kingdom. Hence, this psalm celebrates God's kingship over the seas, oceans. and the whole world now we read the psalm and reflect on it verse 1 and 2 speak of god's glory god's sovereignty god's might god's glory and power verse 1 and 2 the lord is king robed with majesty beautiful the lord is robed girded with might the world will surely stand in place never to be moved your throne stands firm from of old you are from everlasting so god is very mighty powerful majestic and he is there from everlasting words 3 the flood has raised up lord The flood has raised up its roar. The flood has raised its pounding waves. Now here, the psalmist remembers the myth where the oceans were so big, so huge, and they even roared against God and His power. But God is powerful than anything, anybody. Words four. more powerful than the roar of many waters so now the psalmist would affirm that god is more powerful than these roaring might roaring and mighty waters more powerful than the breakers of the sea powerful in the heavens is the lord so oceans can be powerful they can engulf anything but then god is powerful he is sovereign he is majestic and he can subdue anything so here the psalmist finally declared that god subdued god overpowered this mighty waters last words words 5 your decrees are firmly established so finally god's word prevails holiness befits your house o lord for all the length of days so god is holy his sovereignty is holy his presence is holy this is how the psalmist declared god's holiness my friends here the psalmist also proposes he exhorts all people to accept god's sovereignty and accept god's might and become holy as well this is a wonderful psalm and praying the praying through this psalm we can accept god's power his sovereignty in our life and try our best with god's strength to become more and more holy so that we can really serve the lord properly The Lord is king, robed with majesty. The Lord is robed, girded with might. The world will surely stand in place, never to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. You are from everlasting. The flood has raised up, Lord. 
the flood has raised up its roar. The flood has raised its pounding waves. More powerful than the roar of many waters. More powerful than the breakers of the sea. Powerful in the heavens is the Lord. Your decrees are firmly established. Holiness befits your house, Lord, for all the length of days. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, thank you, Lord, and praise you, Lord. We adore you. We bow down before you. Lord, it is our privilege. It is a great blessing to really accept you as our mighty God. O oh, powerful God, O oh, mighty God, O oh, God who is all-powerful, who has no beginning, who has no end, who lives for eternity. Bless us this morning. Bless us today that we can really accept you and follow your word. Lord, praying Psalm 93, we come to know how powerful you are, how glorious you are, how wonderful you are, how mighty you are. Lord, as we begin this new day, Bless all of us. Guide us in your way. Bless our family members. Bring back all those people who went away from you. O mighty God, O powerful God, help us to really follow you today. Bless all your people who watch this program, praying through the Psalms. May all people with all their family members, near and dear ones, be blessed abundantly by you. Lord, may we always, until our last, accept you as our powerful, mighty God. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My friends, hope you enjoyed praying this psalm, Psalm 93. Though short, this psalm gives us a lot of strength, energy, and courage to accept our wonderful God, all-powerful God, God who is full of strength and power. So let us humbly accept his sovereignty in our life and be blessed abundantly by him. Thank you for watching our program, Praying Through the Psalms. Kindly stay tuned to JCKU Creations to watch our program both on Facebook page and YouTube channel. You may spread your word about this program with your friends, family members and other people. They could be part of this and benefit as well. Thank you again. See you next with Psalm 94. Until then, God bless.